Bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip In program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. How's that treating you, beautiful? Stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh, yeah. You embarrassed? No. Daddy. What is it, then? Just uh, later, right? Oh, V! You get any sleep? Ah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. NCPD! When danger lurks. Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're in there! Don't 
forget. You're worth it. Fucking hell. Got another dry sun oh, hey there. week coming your way, Night City. But soak in that uh. sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. Watch it. You'll swallow a fly. Piece of shit! Come on! Oh, no, no, no. 14 is no good. It's just not enough. Wait, you mean 14 or 10? Hey, yo, me. How about a round or two? What do you say? Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. So how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Get that head moving. <laughs> you want trouble? You got one hell of a punch there, Jim. Ever thought of monetizing? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pile. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. At all foods, nature comes first. From the very first stages of food production, we bring you bottom and milk quality. Even Mother Nature.
man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, it took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. I'm badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cooler. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was, took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but T-Bug, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Well, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a real deal. Don't get me start on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, Pete. Gracias, Dios. Lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Choose space. Choose orbital air. First stop. Ripper Duck. At home. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Get this date. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Find me once Vic's done dusting your servants. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the master of your memories. For your eyes do not belong to you, Do 
you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around That's all. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But... We got a new job lined up. From a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh. Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. Hello? Anybody there? Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted? And they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be! Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joy, your worries, your life. For them it is all. Hello? Anybody there? And they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be! Can't do nothing to me. What's your rush? Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Karoshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now? I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. And see what's going on inside.
Mark I, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Now just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guy up, you idiot. On, punch him. Ah. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. 
Got cash riding on this. Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds, anything red. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, anything yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, that, but this huh? issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost Absolutely. isn't a factor. No, no, <laughs> Classic. Like that. I'd expect Wait, nothing less from eager, you supple youth. Respect. 
All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, yeah. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith's doubt of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now.
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally and not, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> gone. And if you don't sound thrilled, Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. You misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh-uh. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Got enough? 
thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Get your fucking hands off me! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep, just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, this piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Come on. Never I met anybody an named Gilchrist. That the poor fucker right there? It's true, doesn't know him. That said, I've jumped a few convoys in my day. Know all the usual suspects. Bet I can help find your mole. But what I know now won't get you anywhere in that respect. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Him, you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. I don't have all day. Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead mob. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. <laughs> nah. Know what, Stout? My offer just came off the table. Mistake. Big mistake. Stout, you bitch! You're done! You're fucking done! You and everyone under your thumb! Hear that, fella? Back with you so soon? How's your afternoon? Got a shopping excursion planned in Kabuki? Well, let your Chumbas know your schedule's just opened up. The district's recently been hit with a wave of abductions, with most pointing the finger at scavs. Surprise, surprise. My advice? Stay at home. Save your eddies. Save your kidneys. NC, back with you so soon? How's your afternoon? Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun.
Let me hear what you squared away. Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Then an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job never did. Hmm. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. So Dex already paid the Maelstromist for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Hijone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. 
So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. It's had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <clears throat> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Place. Could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Hey, what was in there? A Militech truck. But those cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch. Well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on. Got lighten up. Take a hit. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight edge princess. Here we go. 
go. A flathead. Model MT Zero D12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift it access locks using our soft. What's yours? It's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? have to do. <laughs> Look at that. Pick it, little fucker. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Uh, I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? I'm talking to you! Fuck Brick, then. Let's cut a new deal. Good business sense. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you want to offer us a discount. Big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, he never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? Maybe <laughs> it, dead? Call me a rat! You're dead. You hear me? Oh, no, no, no. Ah, no, no, make sense. How we could do that? Armored shutter. <laughs> We're getting to that. Old ass factory, though. I'm a tech tunnel. You got the set, bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. Now let's get out of here.
fresh air. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Will.
know that. You'd never see me again, didn't you? Naive little punk. We don't want any more trouble. No, I seriously doubt you do. Today was about Royce getting his just desserts. Couldn't have done it without you. Flathead's yours. And consider us even. I want a perimeter. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Kanan. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course it was trouble. 
Royce couldn't have given two shits if you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? I met Stout. And? Didn't exactly hit it off. Poor Meredith. No doubt in my mind she'll be left picking up the tab after your bad day. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Uh -huh. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Don't walk. Don't walk.